Thank you, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, fellow members on the panel, I just want to point out that not only this witness, but most witnesses, uh, this is not a Republican or Democrat issue. Everything that we've talked about is about elections and every vote counts, every legal vote counting as we're getting beat up out there on the fake news media cycle here. So all of my questions have been answered except one. First of all, the low confidence signatures that you witnessed, that which were just scribbled, no matter what party, who they were voting for, got ran through the machine, clicked on, moved on the system, they were not taken care of. The next thing is one of my colleagues brought up is one of the things I had is that um, the all ballots were open when you received them. All the ballots were open when they came in there, highly irregular, so I can't imagine anyone saying out there tonight in the news media that we are in here and there is no proof about voter integrity and in elections in Maricopa County. I just, it just baffles me baffles me when these people have signed sworn affidavits that are saying under the penalty of perjury this is what they've witnessed nothing to see here move on it's just it's just nuts down here that your line is connected well thank you very much i've been watching the hearings and they're fascinating uh, incredible and i want to say
and in Georgia, and they're good cases, they're very strong cases by great lawyers and with great facts, and uh, Arizona will not forget what Ducey just did. We're not going to forget uh, the people of Arizona. We had some of the greatest rallies we've ever had. I left those rallies. A lot of you probably were there, and I said, there's no way we lose the state. And we didn't lose the state. We didn't lose the state. We won it by a lot. But I just want to thank everybody. I'm watching it, and a lot of people are watching it on OEN and a couple of others that are, are ratings machines. Their ratings are going through the roof because they're telling the truth. And others are being hurt, as you probably have heard. Other networks are being very badly hurt because when they don't follow us, they don't do very well. But the, the world is watching, and this country is watching, and we admire all of the people, and that includes the fantastic representatives, politicians, but these representatives that are up there and doing a great job. And what they don't realize is they may hear some things, but they're becoming legend. They're becoming legend for taking this on. The country really appreciates it. The country really does. And we have more than they do. I represent everybody, but this was a scam and we have to get down to the bottom of it. I want to thank Rudy and his team for doing such an incredible job. And for having the courage to leave because they were threatened. So for having the courage, Rudy, we thank you. And you know, Rudy was, and I say this, Rudy was the greatest mayor in the history of New York by far. You look at what happens in New York. I mean, you look at what's going on right now. He was the greatest we've ever had. And I told Rudy the other day, what you're doing right now concerning the elections of United States president and other elections, but concerning the election of the president of the United States and as good as being mayor was and so important, but this is far more important is the most important thing you've ever done. So I want to thank Rudy. I want to thank all of the political representatives and I want to thank all of the incredible witnesses for showing bravery and love of your country. Thank you all very much. Thank you, Mr. President. I'm sorry for the interruption. <laughs>